Everyone, so we're right back into it. This this next video is going to be about um, sort of the enum um, error code system that we're going to implement. So the way I've done it so far in my own system is there's one sort of global error code list that I just add to, um, and those are for like the lower level core system. Now, of course, you might want to for higher level stuff such as the scripted. Um, like game specific, you might want to have a variable. Um, when I say variable, I mean like a uh, changing, easily edited list of, of error values. Um, but that is sort of higher level. So this is this is strictly the engine, um, the lower level engine. So what we're going to add to system is a new header file. And I call it error globals. 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 So in here, of course, we keep the. Uh, actually, we don't. We. I'm not going to put a namespace because these are supposed to be global, so they should be able to be accessed regardless of namespace. Um, and what we're just going to do is create a uh, enum class called error code and just define some basic errors such as uh, failure, error success, and error, um, yeah, these, these two are fine for now. Okay. Um, the next thing we're going to do is define an inline uh, boolean method called check error that will take an error code value and what it's going to do is it's going to actually um, convert to its type now error enum classes this is uh, new with I think um, either C++11 or very early versions of C++11, if even C++ was like 2003 or 03. Um, this is uh, typed enums, so they still contain, they default to int, but you can actually specify them as something else by going, I believe, like that. So now that these enums are equivalent to um, like this, I can do that. But the default value is int, so we're just going to leave it like that. Um, and so inside our check error, we're going to assume that it's int, so we're going to statically cast to an int the error code, and we're going to check to see if the value um, doesn't equal. Um, one and we're going to return false um, else return true so generally if failure is going to be zero and success is always going to be one then anything other than success is clearly going to be some other type of error some more specific error because you can either have these broad ones failure or success or you could have error stl init error stl window init error stl gl you know context error um, and a whole a whole bunch of them S uh, error direct x init failed but all we care about is that it doesn't equal one because success will be defined as one now that's sort of the um, corner you're locking yourself into by designing it this way but since you're the creator of your engine and you're kind of the sole programmer it doesn't really matter as long as you know that um, so yeah that's that's about it uh, now the neat thing that we're also going to do is we're going to add um, another uh, class in here called um, enum actually let's add a new a new uh, filter so um, 
Yeah, we're going to add a new filter. Uh, so in header, we're going to add a new filter, uh, util, for utilities. And same thing with source, um, new filter, utilities. And we're going to add a new item, a header. Of course, we're going to make it in the util folder, and we're going to call this uh, enum utilities. Enum util define enum util. Okay, so in here these are also going to be global as well since they're um, just utilities. Um, so for these, actually, we're, for these we're not gonna make them. Are we going to? Yeah, no, we are. We're gonna make these also global. Um, so for in here, what we're going to do is actually make a um, template class called, actually no, we're just going to make it a struct, um, enum strings, and in here what it's going to have is a uh, static uh, char array. So what this array is going to have is it's going to contain a, an array of strings, um, and what we're going to do is for any enums that we create, we're going to create the corresponding collection of strings so that we can easily convert the enum value to a corresponding string. Um, it's sort of uh, you know a makeshift way because there is no uh, way to do that built into C++. Other job, you know, Java, or at least C Sharp, I know has a implemented two string on the enum type, so it automatically will convert to a string. But here, it's you have to actually do some work. Um, so that's that's that. Now, what we can do is actually go um, and take that. and make a template function, uh, an inline template function that um, returns a uh, string and takes in I think that's it, right? Yeah. And what we'll do is we'll so um, we'll actually make that const and. Um, what we'll do is just we'll convert the uh, enum. Again, this is assumed for, for int. Now, you could make this work for any enum value. If you get the underlying type, and there is a way to do that, um, you can convert to the underlying type at runtime, I think, and then um, cast it to that instead but we won't really care about that. And what we'll do is we'll get the uh, string equals um, enum strings. at value. And if uh, string return Um, else, which can return uh, invalid enum. So there we go. Um, so this array, however, needs to be populated now. So in order to do that, 
where we uh, defined our enums, so in the error globals, we can then go and define a CPP file for that. So new item um, source system. Yep. And we're going to need to make sure that we have in our um, include path, we need to add the util. Okay, apply. Um, also, let's add it to source just in case. Because you know, at some point we're going to have to do that. Okay, apply that. Include enum util. <coughs> Define the Okay, some stuff might would just went back in time, but sorry, that's because my recording stuff got messed up. Um, class pointer. So we're in the error globals uh, implementation. Um, error. Of course, we need to include error globals. Error strings. Uh, no, enum strings. Enum strings. Error code. MRA equals. So here's where we're actually um, going to be hard coding a lot, and it seems a little weird, but it's sort of the only way. And you need to make sure that um, once this list gets really long, you need to keep the order correct because otherwise the indices won't match up. So when it goes to convert from an integer to the string value in the array, it's going to index into the wrong area and you'll get, you know, error SDL in it instead of error failure or success. Um, but to show this actually working is if we build this um, build failed, why? Uh, Mix, mixing, uh, missing function header, inline permitted data declarations, um, it's not a data declaration, actually you know what technically it is, because you can't inline functions like that, my bad. Um, Build failed, so let's just see. Error before. Struct. Oh, yeah, that's because. Uh, okay. For now, let's do that. Let's also include. Actually, I don't know if we have to export that. Could be since it's all in the header. enums okay succeeded let's go into our main um, let's also add make sure we add the uh, include for util okay there it is make sure you have that and we are going to include error globals and include uh, enum util so in between here, for fun, let's um, create an error, error code, set it to error failure, oops, so uh, let's include iostream. Um, 
or no, enum. I keep saying error string. Enum string. Okay, so we'll pass an error and then end line. And then do the same thing after we change error to be success. Enum string error. And let's run. <clears throat> so we should see it print out our enums. Of course, that has an issue, and that's because we didn't export the. Is that because we didn't export that? Actually, yeah. Um, This needs to be exported because that is actually a um, class that needs to be linked. So let's build. Okay. And let's uh, run again. And there we go. We see starting up, failure, error, error success and shutting down. So there we go, we have a, a way to um, simply uh, print out any um, enum as long as they define, as long as we define the string list for it. Um, it's sort of a, a quick and kind of dirty way to to implement some sort of string, output, uh, string conversion for enums. Um, so thanks for watching this tutorial. This this will be useful for uh, the logging system. So if we do want to log the actual return values of functions, um, we can do so through actually outputting what it returned. Um, and you need some way to convert it to a string. So thanks for watching. Next uh, tutorial we'll start working on the application class. We'll talk about SDL and a bunch of other stuff.